What's up guys? Iceman here. Blessed are those who are not offended by me. So, in this video, I wanted to talk to you dogs about a few things. I also wanted to showcase my gym in just a minute here. Some nice rogue equipment and do-it-yourself deadlift platform, nice lat pull and so forth. But something I've noticed about many who are hanging out on the realms of YouTube and so forth, including myself. A lot of you guys are pretty damn unhealthy, okay? I got some of you dogs on Facebook. Now, I really don't know how else to put it, but some of you guys are fat as fuck. Alright? And the problem with that is it makes for a really negative and unhealthy way of being when it comes to your mindset, when it comes to your body, and so forth. It's fucked up. So something that you guys could do, and fat ass needs to do this as well actually, okay? You need to get up every fucking day and do some physical activity. And don't skip it. You could put a timer on your phone, for example, for 15 minutes and just do some jumping jacks or push-ups. Ice Boy doesn't like to do push-ups very often because I do chest day about once a week or so. Or once every, I don't know, 10 days sometimes. So I'm generally quite sore, so I don't want to you know, interfere with that, with the push-up thing, but for those of you who aren't doing chest day and things of that sort, you could do push-ups and jumping jacks and running in place or whatnot. You could even run in place, for real. I've done it before and it's actually, uh, just whatever gets your heart rate up and your joints moving and things of that sort, it's gonna make uh, for you a better way of being, man. And everything's better when you do that, it's true. Even playing Diablo, for example. Like if you're a lethargic slob and you don't work out and you have a shitty diet and you're just playing video games all the fucking time, it sounds like a dream, right? Like too good to be true, but the truth is, man, your perception starts to be altered if you live in such a way to where what used to be satisfying is no longer and it just ain't never enough you know what I'm saying like the days when I get up off my fat fuck ass and I get on the rogue bike for example or just a fan bike man I had an airdyne for a couple years and it did just fine you can generally find those in the used marketplace for two hundred dollars or less just a a fan bike a Schwinn airdyne go that route all right the days when I make effort to go on the damn bike and then I get on Diablo, for example, it's just so much more fulfilling, you know, playing the game. And just, I'm nearly out of breath when I go sit on uh, my ass at the desk, right? And it's like, whew, you just take a deep breath and you take it in and you can start enjoying the experience, man. It really enhances it. I ain't fucking with you dogs. I started a necromancer and it's toad as fuck. It's a poison nova slash golem. Multi-golem build in Project Diablo 2. It's, it's been damn great, so videos to come on that. But just in general, you know what I mean? Like your hobbies, they become more enjoyable. All right, and another really important thing for you dogs is to consider your diet. A lot of you guys eat like shit. Taco Bell? You fucking kidding me? It's fucking garbage. Alright? I mean, I go to Arby's once in a while. And Culver's. And Chick-fil-A is toad as fuck. You know, I don't care what you guys say about it. The place is fucking bomb. But, five guys, in and out, yeah, I hit that shit up once in a while, alright? 
But a lot of you dogs are going to these fast food joints, you're going to the McDonald's, you're going to the Burger King, you're going to the Wendy's, which has vastly depleted in quality over the past couple of years, in my opinion. Wendy's is fucking shit. They fries okay, but the point is, some of you guys have a shitty as fuck diet. And that changes everything, man. I'd rather have you dogs change the ways of your diet and do some physical activity every day than get on some compounded substances. Because that shit ain't natural, right? Are the compounded substances natural? Let me know in the comment section below. But I'd rather have you dogs go the way of the ice man, in a sense, all right? Change up that fucking diet. Get up off your fucking ass and do some physical activity. Don't drink the soda pop, the high in sugar juices and so forth. Drink the water, eat the garlic, eat the clean meats, all right? And don't put the barbecue sauce and all that fucking shit on it with high sodium and high sugars. That shit will fuck you up. If you guys take this advice, it's going to change everything, man. And to be honest with you guys, your dick is going to get hard as fuck. It's true. Like, like a pull right there. A lot of guys are suffering from that where they can't get a hard dick. And some guys are even in their 20s. I'm serious. How fucked up is that? So if you change up with your diet and get some exercise and get your blood flowing and so forth, man, everything's gonna change, dog. I mean, you guys, I think you guys should take my advices for this, for real. But let me know what you guys think about this shit in the comments below, okay? Like, I've been fixing to, to work out four or five days a week, all right? I mean, it could be better. What I've been doing lately is I go on this fan bike. I go on it for like five minutes to get a slight warm up, and then I get off, and I'll do like a set of pull-ups, right? And then I'll go right back on the bike. So I'm moving the whole fucking time. And I've been noticing good results. All right. So you dogs, I mean, if you guys aren't there, I know a lot of you guys are. You know, a lot of you dogs are healthy who watch the video and are subscribed. Uh, some of you guys even give me advices on this, that, and the other. All right. I was showing off my bike and guys had good word to say on that and some tips and so forth but yeah i know i know a lot of you dogs are are in line with that but some of you aren't and even for those who are you know it's good to keep one another accountable to an extent but that sort of routine i actually found results in i feel so it's been quite quite uh, rewarding and so forth but here's another thing that I wanted to bring up to you guys, all right? A lot of you guys, you're beating your dick off to porn. And I know there's gonna be, there's argument against such things, right? Like there's many entities that would say that it's healthy and it even goes as far as to show, what well, could be biased studies, man. I don't know if they're there, but I assume they are just because it's such a massive industry, right? There's, there's plenty of incentive for those entities to make claim that it's not bad for you and perhaps even go as far as to say that it's good for you. And there's really no incentive for someone to tell you that it's not. But here's the thing, man. If you're beating your dick off to porn, for one, that shit gets addicting. And two, it starts to deplete your incentive to go out and meet 
the famine, right? Like if you just beat off and go back to just sitting on your fat ass, you're, you're achieving that euphoric state without really doing anything to get there other than just clicking on a website, you know what I mean? Where in a natural manner, it was supposed to take like all sorts of social nuances and so forth to to achieve such a thing, right? To fuck a bitch. And the harvest is ripe, man. I mean, in these modern days, especially, you know, a lot of women are as promiscuous as men. I mean, you guys gotta watch out. You know, don't, don't catch something that's gonna eat your dick off. You know, do your research and be careful. But I'm just saying, Whatever it takes to get off the fucking porn, man, as long as you're in the realm of the legal boundaries, you know what I'm saying? Because you end up in a cycle. And like I said, I, it, it can't be natural. I mean, let me know in the comments what you dogs think about that. I just think that if you dogs were to get off that, for those of you who, who are indulged in such things, that you're gonna find an enhancement in your life and in your mental well-being, all right? Especially if you start to make strides in perhaps, you know, going out and, and legally catching some tail, you know what I mean? Clapping some cheeks together and shit, all right? And this goes for guys who are married as well or with a significant other because it'll incentivize you to impress your women, okay? I know a lot of you guys have women as well. And, you know, like I said, man, if you're just beating your dick off on maybe a weekly basis, that incentive begins to deplete. Whereas if you weren't doing that, you'd have to you'd have to engage with your woman more, you know what I mean? In an intimate sort of way. To where you're like, damn, I gotta get these rocks off. And Ice Boy told me not to choke the chicken over the screen. So I guess I should go and try to uh, work with my woman, try to maybe convince her to give me access to her reproductive orifice, right? So, I mean, it goes, it, it works either way, man. If you're with someone or if you're not. But let me know what you dogs think about that in the comments below, all right? Just a couple basic things, man. You guys gotta, Get off off your fucking ass and, and do a little bit of physical activity. If you're not, like I said, a lot of you guys are. And enhance your diet, all right? Stay away from the sugars, man. I eat eggs every fucking day for breakfast. You know how boring that gets? I really don't enjoy it. It's, it's a chore to eat those fucking scrambled eggs. It's a chore. And someone say, but Iceman, scrambled eggs are high in cholesterol. This is fucking fake news, dog. And my response to that would be, maybe you have the fake news, man. Because as far as I understand it, I read this shit on the internet. The cholesterol in eggs doesn't actually raise your cholesterol levels, all right? I'm, as far as I know, man, there isn't any evidence that suggests that there's a direct correlation or a correlation at all. So maybe you dogs should look into that if you question that. But nonetheless, you don't, you don't have to eat eggs every fucking day. I eat tuna fish almost every fucking day too. But I man, there's high levels of mercury in tuna fish. But as far as I understand it, you'd have to eat like five fucking cans a day in order to start going beyond your limit. You know, you know what I'm saying? But basically, clean meats vegetables, water, cut down. If you drink the coffee, drink the coffee black, like fat, so. And try to cut it off, man. In, in, sleep is very important. Getting deep sleep is important. 
And you're not going to get that deep sleep if you're drinking caffeine till the, uh, until the later part of the evening. All right, so you dogs should stop drinking caffeine around 2 p.m. at the latest. I mean, lately I've been, I've been quitting around noon and I just have one fucking cup of coffee. But if you dogs will like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Let me show you my gym real quick, all right? I haven't really made any upgrades, but some of you haven't seen it. So check this out. I just have the rogue rack. I have this light right here. So I gotta walk around the damn light. But here's this rogue rack. This nice rep fitness bench, man. Just a flat bench. It has the fat pad on it. Thing's a fucking hog. Yeah. That bench is, is absolute hog, man. I would, uh, I get that shit if they're available right now. I don't know if they are. But here's the Rogue, uh, I can't remember what the hell this thing is. The 690C. The 690C with uh, extra weight storage on the back. And I have the Ohio Bar, which is very nice. And I have this Titan Fitness lap pull. All right, it's the uh, plate loadable one. So it takes some extra effort, but nonetheless, it'll... It has a wide range of motion, I think, more so than what you get with the, uh, with the stackable pin weight ones, you know what I'm saying? Because no matter how much weight you have on it or how little, you can take this thing to full range of motion because the weights are uh, on it horizontally and not vertically. So they don't get in the way of its range of motion. But So I might just keep that. I was thinking about going a different route. And there's my hex deadlift bar. There's the deadlift platform that I made. I'd like to get more dumbbells, and I might make a dumbbell rack in the near future. Here's just an adjustable wrench. It's kind of a shitty one. I mean, it's very sturdy, but there's a lot of obstructions in the way of like your feet. Like you see how it loops around there at the front. It's very sturdy though, man. It's just one of those X mark ones that you get from uh, Amazon. And then here's the Rogue Echo bike which has been very nice. And I have a TV set up with some speakers. You see that? Yeah, this Rogue Echo Bike is such a hog. I'd recommend that to you dogs. Mine actually just started creaking even. I don't know if it's because I have it out in the garage. Not so much right now. All right, man. I'll talk to you guys later. More videos to come. Peace be with you.